thumbnail is the thing that can double up your views on YouTube. And since everybody going crazy about my thumbnails, I'm gonna show you how to do the same style of thumbnail step by step, super quick. So everybody gonna ask you how you made this thumbnail. Because did you ever see on YouTube the thumbnails like this? I guess no. Well, now you have a chance to have it too. And at the end of this tutorial, you would be able to do the same style of thumbnails for your YouTube channel. Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zarya Creator and I help content creators and entrepreneurs grow on YouTube. So let's go. For this tutorial, you would need a Photoshop because this is the only software to do all these fancy things to make this high quality, top notch, super duper thumbnail. We're gonna go back to a tutorial in a minute but I have a great news for you guys I made seven different thumbnail templates in that style so you don't need to create them from the scratch and spend your time basically these are Photoshop templates that you can download and customize add your photo title change font and colors to get your own unique thumbnail there's also a lot of design assets to make your thumbnail in your own way and 100% guarantee that you will have these crazy comments under your videos you can find the link for for these seven thumbnail templates down below in the description and now let's go back to a tutorial did you like that move you know kind of cool I'm just a big brand video maker you know okay if you're here you want to create a thumbnail from zero on your own well let's do this just open Photoshop create new to create a new project here you need to type in these settings and then just click on create when I record a video at the end of the recording process I make a video for a thumbnail so basically it look like this I just stand in front of the camera and making poses for my thumbnail for example let's choose this one just make a screenshot in any program you want so just drag and drop your thumbnail photo right here and then go to selection tool right here quick selection tool and press on select subject it would select the subject which means me then you need to check out maybe there's places with the wrong selection so you need to just press and hold alt or option on mac scale up and just click right here to select new areas or maybe you made a mistake like that and you want to delete this area just press and hold alt or option on mac and delete like that just press and hold your left mouse button like that and delete the areas you want okay we are done then go to this icon right here to make a mask okay cool to scale up or scale down the objects you need to press on ctrl t hold shift and move your mouse to scale up or scale down the object okay let's add some background you can find some backgrounds in google i use black interior backgrounds something like that just choose the one you like and download from google okay and let's move this background like that and place under this layer with my photo and let's blur our background you need to select this background then right mouse click and click on convert to smart object okay cool and then go to filter right here then go to blur and gaussian blur right here and let's make radius 2 and just press ok and to make our photo pop a little bit more we need to make exposure of the background a little bit lower so to do that you need to go to this icon right here and find exposure right here press on it and right here you need to make exposure a little bit lower and right now we need to add titles or text just press on this text icon right here horizontal type tool press on it and just click and type in some text now it can be small like that you need to just press on ctrl t or command t and scale it as we did before like that also you can just scale it by going right here and making this bigger like that you need to just press and hold left mouse button like that and move mouse to the right or left to make it smaller okay so let's make it smaller like that and let's change the font of this so to change the font you need to press on T select the text and go to this thing right here and find some font or also you can find some fonts right here at the properties just select the layer and find some font we are gonna use B bass to copy the layer text press and hold option or alt on Mac and move it with the mouse like that so we need like four lines let's change to how to make let's change the size ctrl t don't forget this one let's change to youtube thumbnails like this and let's lock this layer with a photo and background so it's not moving and this layer too 
it would be easier for me to do the text. So we just select the text and Ctrl T to make it smaller like that. Let's make like this smaller to make our YouTube thumbnails pop a little bit more and make it on the same line like that. And right now let's go to YouTube text layer, double click and here you need to find a color overlay. Just add it or also it could be right here but if you don't have it, just go right here and color overlay. Okay, so let's go to this color overlay and right here you need to choose the color. Let's make it yellow like this. Okay, then go to bevel and emboss. I don't know how to pronounce it, but let's go right here. Press on this one white. We need to make it like red or kind of orange like that. Then this one, we need to make it white like that. We need to make opacity right here about something like this and like this and change the angle on something like this also change the depth on 100 percent then go to drop shadow and edit too here you need to make blend mode normal and make color something like this make angle like 90 spread zero size one and distance five and just press OK. And right now let's copy the settings from this YouTube layer to our thumbnails layer. Just press and hold Alt or Option on Mac and move FX under thumbnails and just drop it. And let's correct our white text. Go to how to make, double click, go to bevel and emboss. Right here choose black and press OK. And guys, don't forget to change this gloss contour on this one right here. Then go to drop shadow and add some shadow like this and let's make it four and then just press OK. And again, copy this layer to this layer. Just press and hold options and just drag and drop right here. Also guys, I forget to say to you, but if you want to make a different bevel and emboss design, you need to go here and add this one. You can see this one is kind of clear. Just press OK and again, change this one right here and change on this one. So this effect looks cool. OK, let's place our text a little bit closer. And to till the text, you just need to select all these layers like that and press on Ctrl T or Command T then press and hold Ctrl or Command on Mac and just use this one right here to tilt it like that then press enter then to make a cool lighting we need to go to brush tool right here and make your size on 700 smoothing 10. Here you need to make a layer like that and place this layer under all the layers with the text and our photo. Here you can change the color of the brush I'm gonna use blue one like that, okay, and just click a few times. Then you need to go to this one right here and change the hard light right here. Okay, cool. And again, then we go into brush tool. Let's make it like 400. Let's make our hardness on 25. Then go right here and create a new layer. And let's make a light like that. And in my case, I'm gonna use my thumbnails for this thumbnail to showcase them. And to make this cool glow effect, you need to click on the object. In my case, it's thumbnail, just double click. Then find this outer glow. Okay, and let's change the light. This one is green, let's make it green like that. Okay, here you need to change the blend mode on screen, make the opacity like 50 and just press OK. Then again, you need to copy this ethic to other thumbnails too by press and hold Option or Alt and just moving this ethic to other thumbnails. Okay, cool. And let's change the color of these glow effects. This one on red and this one on blue like that okay 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 and right now the moment you've been waiting for how to make this glow effect around you so first thing you need to create a new layer like that then you need to find this tool it can be somewhere right here or in my case it's right here this tool is called paint bucket tool okay let's choose the black light like that and just click bow everything is black. Then you need to create a new layer again and press and hold Alt or Option on Mac and again between layers you would see this arrow you just need to click. Wow. And now this layer is connected. Then you need to go to this icon and choose gradient map right here. Gradient map. And again press and hold Alt or Option right here between the layers and when you see this arrow just click 
and all these layers are connected. And right now we need to change the color of the gradient map. Just go here and do the same things I do. Just create this one right here, click right here, double click and change the color to let's say blue. This one should be darker blue and this one should be lighter blue. So let's make blue and also change this white to blue too. Something like that. Okay and okay. Then you need to go to this layer, this black layer and right here you need to change on screen and select this layer. On this layer we are gonna paint our glow effect and right now we need to choose brush tool, make a white light. With a white light you would paint glow effect. So let's change the size to 25 pixels like that and right now let's move our photo under this layer with all these things like that. Our layer when we are gonna paint our glow is over this layer with the photo and right now just paint the glow over the, all the edges. <laughs> create a cool glow effect you need to mix brush tool, smudge tool and eraser tool. Change sizes of the tools to make that cool unique style. And right now I'm gonna speed up the process so you can watch how you can make the glow effect. You can also add this glow effect on your clothes like that. Face part you can make it a little bit smaller. Okay, here's our glow effect and right now we need to make a cool color correction and add some effects to make it look super duper cool. So to add some effects like particles you need to just google it and find some particles you want to see on your thumbnail. Then download it and add to your project. So I have some particles, just drop it to your project. Okay, let's place it somewhere under our photo like here and then go right here and change it to the screen like that and to change the color of these particles you need to go again to this icon and hue and saturation then press option or alt place your mouse somewhere right here and see this arrow and click between these layers. Right now these two layers are connected and just change the color of these particles like that. Let's change it to the blue so like that you can change the color of the particles or other effects you have. Also, don't forget to choose the screen for your effects. And let's add some motion blur for these particles. First, you need to make a right click and go to convert to smart object. Then you need to go to the filter. Then you need to go to the blur and Gaussian blur right here. Here you need to make a radius 2, press OK and you have a cool Gaussian blur. Ok, but right now I have my own particles right here that I already made, so just make it visible. And so let's make the color correction. So first of all we need to make a color correction for our photo. Just press on this photo, then go to filter and find camera roll filter. Then go to detail and right here we need to make a sharpening like that and noise reduction like that. Then go to the basic, you need to add some texture like that and clarity like that. Also add some vibrance and saturation and just press OK. And to make a final color correction over all the layers to make everything look super professional we need to choose the first layer right here and press on Option, Control, Shift and E or on Mac Option, Command, Shift and E to make a layer for final color correction and select this layer then make a right click and convert to smart object. Cool. Right now go to filter and camera roll filter. Let's add some texture 
and clarity. Then go to detail, add some sharpening like that and noise reduction like that. Just play with it. Then go to FX, add some grain to make it look cool and cinematic. Also you can go to color mixer right here and play with the colors like that. Maybe add some saturation to oranges like that. Change hue for oranges like that. So you need to play with these settings because you guys using different cameras and you have different thumbnails. So color correction should be different for every one of you. And all this color correction should be different. And let's go to basic and maybe add some contrast if you want. So when you're done with the color correction, just press OK. And bow your super cool thumbnail is done. Again, if you don't want to spend your time doing these thumbnails, you can have 7 pre-made super duper thumbnail templates for Photoshop that you can easily customize, add your photo, add your text, change titles, change font, change colors, and create a unique super duper thumbnail for your YouTube channel. I'm waiting for you. Link down below. Down below. Why are you still here? Link down below. You're here. Why? Mm -hmm. Do 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 do